My name is Sunny Kokkaravalil. Uh, I am from India, from Kerala, from the district of Kottayam. When I think of my growth, I first my first thought goes to my family, my parents. I am the first child. We are five children, and my father was a strict man, uh, very Catholic, devoted, and um, my mother was compassionate, very adjusting. Both these combinations of my parents helped me grow. I think in a in a healthy way. Uh, I am grateful to them, and also I am grateful to my sisters and brothers who helped me grow. Uh, of course, I was also very strict with them because they were younger to me. <laughs> uh, I look um, when I look back to my in the, in the ages of my growth, I am happy. As a boy, I was very pious. <laughs> I the first thoughts of becoming priest uh, came to me because I thought by becoming a priest I can celebrate mass I can preach uh, I can be always before the blessed sacrament in the church uh, these were the first thoughts the inspirations which guided me which attracted me to priesthood but uh, as I came closer to the age of joining the seminary that interest changed a little it i i can see today that at that time it was changing service became my motto my my desire my the attractive point for me this is an area where i can serve people the church the people of god and this was the motivation which still leads me guides me after my ordination my provincial asked me to go to the oriental institute study canon law in order to teach there later the request came because the general of that time father colvin bach had asked him to send somebody from the kerala province um, if it were to me i would not have chosen canon law at that time but today i am happy that i was asked to choose it and i am happy with canon law today i think with that i can serve a lot canon law is very practical you can guide very many people in the church also outside the church outside the catholic church in the in the in, Christ, in, the, in, the, in the in the church of god you can help a pe- help a lot of people to put order in life in the organization of small associations big associations religious institutes dioceses in the process of making saints uh, so many things uh, like that and uh, and i like canon law also because that puts order into my life it gives clarity to my thinking uh, conceptual clarity is something which is which pertains to law also to law i can say to a great degree to law i like that i teach three courses um the the law on religious religious institutes and consecrated life and theology of law and the juridical sources of the siro malabar church oriental has an important mission because when we look at it today you see students from all over the world and from different churches christian churches you can find students from almost all the churches here catholic and non catholic i don't think any other institution in the world has so much of diversity diverse diverse nations diverse uh, rights cultures uh, this diversity is and unity promoting unity inner unity not outward apparent uniformity but creating inner unity is part of specific part of the mission of the oriental institute